Folks, certainly warmer and more humid than it was over the weekend. It's likely to stay this way for at least a couple more days as well. These are the currents. Everybody's around 80 or so. A little warmer in McAllen, Edinburgh 82. Edinburgh Grand City's at 81, about 80 degrees at the coast right now. Wind gusts have been running 20 to 25 miles an hour still even at this time of night. So a breezy evening out there and your dew points are up into the mid 70s now valley wide. We'll put an average of about 75 all the way up here on the muggy meter. So it's really humid outside and likely again going to stay that way probably into the weekend. Now your forecast lows tonight mid 70s. That's it. That may be optimistic that it'll get down to 73 in Harlingen. Most places will be 75. 76 and then tomorrow we're 90 plus across most of the valley. The exceptions Brownsville at 88 South Padre at 81, but certainly a very warm and humid day across the region. The normal high for early May is 88. We're going to be above that for two days and then Saturday right around normal courtesy of a weak front that will sneak into the area. A lot of clouds overhead tonight. They're likely to stick around all night long. We see mostly cloudy skies and maybe even a little patchy fog if the wind dies down which it may die a little bit, but it won't go completely away. Then tomorrow we're breezy, very warm again. Maybe some late day sunshine Friday. A lot of clouds again, perhaps some late day sunshine. And with that, temperatures do warm into the 90s. I think Thursday and Friday are dry. Saturday, about a 20% chance for a shower or thunderstorm as that weak cool front moves into the area. But with that front, that slight chance for a shower or two, and then things dry out after that, probably as early as early Sunday. Big bad thunderstorms up to the north of us tonight across a lot of Oklahoma. A whole bunch of tornado warnings tonight from uh, really right on the Texas border all the way up into Kansas. But temperature-wise, you can tell that front, the dry line that's triggering all that, not really cooling things off all that much. It's a messy weather map. There's the dry line. That's the focal point for the thunderstorm development today. Cool front back behind that. So dry air running into warm, moist air. That is where the storms fire up. Tomorrow the dry line has gone, but the cool front kind of comes in and replaces it and almost serves the same purpose. You don't quite have the support aloft anymore tomorrow, though, so that severe weather threat starts to taper off just a little bit. By Friday, we've got a front in the state, maybe some rain to the north of us on Friday, and then Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday when that front comes in, slight chance for a shower, thunder shower here. I think by Sunday afternoon that threat moves away. At the coast, if you're headed that direction, southeast winds 15 to 25 knots. The bay is a little rough. UV is very high. The bay temperature 77, the surf at 75. So tonight, mostly cloudy, warm and very humid. 76 for your low. Then tomorrow, partly sunny skies, but the part that's sunny won't come till late in the day. Breezy and warm, a high of 91. South, southeasterly winds 15 to 25 and rather gusty. Here's a look at the next three days. We hold it 91 through Friday, cool it off a couple degrees, four degrees on Saturday and another on Sunday. That chance for thunderstorms, 20% Saturday and Sunday, but Sunday, if it happens, should be really early. I think most of the day should be fine, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at this point look partly sunny and pretty nice. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.